My name is Eric Appel, and I am the co-writer and director of Weird, the Al Yankovic story. This sucks. It's the fifth audition I've been kicked out of this week. It's almost like nobody wants an accordion player in their band. That just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So this is Daniel Radcliffe playing Weird Al Yankovic. He has just been rejected by a punk rock band that he was trying to join. And he goes back to his apartment. He's dejected. His roommates are trying to cheer him up. And they get into a conversation about, you know, now that we live on our own here in college, what are some of the things that we can do? And uh, they ask Al, you know, now that you live away from your parents, what's something you've always wanted to do? And he says, I've always wanted to make up new lyrics to a song that already exists. That's his dream in life. It's something his father would not let him do when he was younger. And his roommates encourage him to, you know, go ahead. Why don't you just try it right now? Why don't you uh, try making up words to a song that already exists? And Al thinks, you know, the well's already dried up. You know, he's not, he's not going to be able to think of anything. In our movie, it's that moment that happens in many biopics where the artist is suddenly this idea comes to them. It's like a bolt of lightning hits them and all of a sudden a fully formed song comes out of them. <laughs> It's sort of inspired by my favorite example is in Ray when he writes Hit the Road Jack. All of a sudden, he's playing this fully formed version of Hit the Road Jack. It kind of happens in every biopic. It's like the way that everyone writes their hit song. It just seems to be magic that, you know, strikes them. So this is our take on that. Okay, 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 guys, I'm on it. Uh, Jim, you want to put on some tunes? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Steve, this bologna has your name on it. Can we? Uh, yeah, sure. Just open up a package of my bologna. Right from the beginning, all of our actors, we had this conversation with them. Don't try to push the comedy in this movie. Don't try to go for jokes. The straighter you play it, the funnier it's going to be. So in this My Bologna scene, we're treating it like it is this real big inspiring moment. Is this DJ asleep? The record keeps skipping. Hey, wake up. And as the radio fades out and his roommate turns it off, we introduce this very big movie score. <laughs> Leo Bierenberg and Zach Robinson wrote this incredible Oscar-worthy movie score for us. And it's this huge John Williams-like moment. Who my little hungry one, hungry one, open up a package of my banana. Who I think the toast is done, the toast is done, time but with a little of my banana. Where did that come from? Dude, I've got chills. I don't know, it just came out of me. You don't typically never... hear this kind of movie score and have these kinds of shots, you know, as we're pushing in on his eyes and we're pushing in on the baloney. That's not so typical of a biopic. I guess that's where the comedy really comes from in a moment like this is pushing it past what you're expecting to see and going into this really bizarre, unexpected, heightened, emotional version.